Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your extra daily dose of skill and today we are going to feature Vaza 131G uh, which treated me pretty well, honestly I cannot complain about this vehicle whatsoever. Uh, if you are curious what is my rating for this vehicle in the index page you can see the green color here that indicates the tank is good if you are curious, the field modifications and everything you can easily uh, check out the things yourself by Clicking here on the field modifications and you can see expectation values, ace wanker values and many many other things. Uh, uh, equipment setup and so on so on. So uh, continuing everything fellas. Uh, my what do I want to say about this tank? This tank has two guns and both of the guns are usable. Option number one uh, Aka stock gun is the pretty much top gun from the previous vehicle. It is not horrible, it has pretty damn good DPM and everything is fine with it, but you are kind of lacking of the uh, penetration in a way, so you need to shoot quite a bit of the gold ammunition and that's the main reason why I decided not to go with this gun, although I played some battles with it. Um, and after that we have the uh, pretty much Type 59 gun in a way, right? If you would compare this gun um, and Type 59 gun, you would notice the difference pretty much uh, is very, very, very minimum, uh, minimal. Uh, what do I mean by saying that alpha damage, the same penetration, for penetration difference uh, in the favor of Type 59. DPM is pretty much the same accuracy, uh, just tiny touch more accurate uh, in the Type 59 um, situation and to be fair with you, Type 59 in my humble opinion has pretty derpy gun overall. Anyways, um, so what can I say about this tier 6? I think it is pretty beautiful vehicle, fellas. If you like to snipe from the back, you know when to relocate and you know how to use the bush mechanics by saying how to use bush mechanics. You are going into the bush, you are spotting enemy, you are par 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 moving out of the bush. This time can work very, very well and I would highly recommend to check this vehicle out if you never played with it and just uh, give it a go. Overall, our performance with this tank, we marked this vehicle in 89 battles with a 69% win ratio, 1.7 thousand damage, 500 assisting damage and we had pretty good performance and pretty good experience. Speaking about the uh, expectation values, we needed to play for 1.9 thousand in order not to drop down. So now, without further ado, let's teleport into the action, shall we? Let's go. And we are teleporting into the mountain pass, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen, you see, tank destroyer doesn't mean you always need to stay next to the red line. For example, in Mountain Pass, there is not many uh, options what we can do, but you know what, we are going to make it work in a bit different way. Since this tank destroyer has a decent camo, what we are doing, we are going to go to the typical in a way light medium tank position and obviously we need to find the shots to Esther 1. Fortunately we are not finding those but look at the sky. Whee! Yeah, unlucky Esterva, unlucky. Two of our Jeffs beat the living crap out of this gentleman and he's not enjoying himself. Now look. Since we have a good camo, we have a nice tank destroyer, all we need to do, we need to wait till someone will get spotted when he is crossing. And we found Hashtizi who is spotted. And as you can see, fellas, I am aiming directly to his uh, um, to his shoulders or boobs or however you would call this, right? That's what I am doing and I'm trying to punish him. <coughs> but in the same time, it is not so simple, it is not so easy. I panicked a bit because I thought I am getting spotted here and probably I was, but it doesn't really change anything. Now, let's wait for a second until our artists, and yeah, we have three Jeffs, until they will be the living crap out of this hush to see, and we have a light tank who is through the open field, no, 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 not today, buddy, not today. Meanwhile, as you can see, the HTC got slaughtered by Artas, but once again, this is not a big surprise, and this is not, uh, um, this is nothing unusual. 
and fellas remember we recently had the video where we talked about the mountain pass overall strategy of the mountain pass and by the looks of it um, this team definitely did not pay the attention into the video but well we can say the same thing for the enemies as well and now I am going for a bold move I know I have DPM I know I have camo, so all I need to do at this point, at this point I need to go in front and I need to start farming enemy tanks. And at this point, fellas, this should be N18 sign there. Um, because what you are going to see here, it is just nuts. So, pay attention to what is happening, fellas. We found the heavy tanks who are playing in the middle of the field, and I'm trying to figure out how I can penetrate the other oi, but it is not necessary because he's the um, deepest in the shithole in a way, so all we need to do, we need to hit other oys as well. Anyways, I am double checking out where they're flying, if I can penetrate him, and... Uh, looks like the side skirt is the best angle for us unfortunately the gun is saying nope not today but relax take it easy this is only the start especially if he is going to change the angle and once again this is where tank destroyers are shining for example with a heavy tank you will never ever be able to do the things which uh, um this tank destroyer can right since we have good base camo as you can see, this oi, he has no chance. He can move in front, he can move back. He can move in front, he can move back. But in the same time, unfortunately, but he's not getting that much use here, fellas. And all we need to do, we need to send him back to the garage. And from now on, oi experimental uh, or oi tier 6, he will think about grinding this tank destroyer line. I can promise you that, fellas. Anyways, we are having our eyes widely open. We are all already sitting on the solid 2.2 thousand damage let's make it 2.5 thousand damage and obviously we elim eliminated the um, su-100 who i thought is going to be aggressive here and actually he was um score is looking definitely good in our favor we farmed pretty much all heavy tanks who played in the ice uh, road and obviously like i mentioned it before in many many videos uh ice road is not an option fellas it's just simply not an option we have high explosives loaded because we know we are going to approach the enemy light tank but before that how about if we would smack in the face enemy arta yeah minus 335 he's barely alive but it is completely fine by the way high explosive here three uh, have 330 alpha damage so that's pretty damn nice we are going for a ramming kill here one shot ramming kill amx 13 75 is eliminated from the game and what i like about this vehicle and this is the main reason why this tank is rated good in the youtube index or i suppose to say skill for l2 index because this tank have a very good combination of the things it is quick it has dice camo it has okay gun everything is fine about this vehicle there is literally nothing to complain and by the way uh, the simple question have you noticed how fast we got five kills uh, because since the dpm of this tank is very very nice you can farm enemies like there is no tomorrow unfortunately i had the high explosive ammunition uh, loaded i did not really felt like i want to have the um I did not felt like I want to shoot the gold ammunition to the Arta, okay? That's why I went with the high explosives. Since we do not have any standard ammunition left, obviously we need to be the living crap out of the Susu. Su is dead and we are just simply completing our maneuver um, while turning around 360 degrees angle. And we need to kill this A46. Actually, A43, I apologize. A43 it is. He is going to be soon down to one shot and now fingers crossed let me high roll or let me pretty much mid roll and we got him fellas eight um, eight kills 3.8 thousand damage tier six tank destroyer in very unfortunate map and we made it work beautiful round number two it is
and we are back with round number two. In this game, you are going to see as much action as you can expect whenever you are having a, a, a safe defense parameter with a tank destroyer, and I truly mean it. Uh, Cliff is known for being, in a way, campy map for tank destroyers, because once again, uh, what can you do? You can sit here um, next to the red line, right, fellas? You can sit over there, uh, literally in the spawn, or you can take this position. That's about it. That's the game over for tank destroyers. Well, maybe you can take position somewhere here, but that's about it. So what we are going to do in this game, first things first, we are going to um, take a very, very casual position where tank destroyers are sitting at, but we are not going to sit in the typical bush, because typical bush is here, and usually even Artus is blind firing, uh, and this is just simply not very, very nice thing, or Artus are blind firing, you get the point what I'm saying. Anyways, we are knocking those two trees down, and now we will try to make this gun work. And I know I mentioned this before, I think this tank has the Type 59 gun, uh, but for some weird reason, this gun is behaving better on this uh, uh, tank than on the Type um, 59. I know it sounds weird, but uh, this is how it looks like. The standard penetration, once again, one, six, uh, 181. For a tier 6, it is beautiful penetration gold penetration 241 once again absolutely amazing and for those rare occasions high explosives 50 millimeters of penetration uh, but you saw the example how to use it in the previous game against the against the art right so First two minutes into the battle, we have 700 damage, we uh, did quite some good shots and uh, I need to pay attention on the maxi map and believe me, I do. I see there is a couple of the light tanks here, but I am I am so into the light tanks here because they are down to one shotable, I am actually not paying that much attention. Now when I'm looking into the replay, I see I could shoot the hill, right? Anyways. Hey, skill, you noticed it. Amazing, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Unfortunately, I miss... Uh on the light tank who is uh, chilling on top of the hill but once again uh, shit happens this is a very very long distance 500 meters you cannot expect to hit every single uh, shot with this tank it is just not how the things are looking like right um or maybe hello there beautiful now look if this guy peaked once like this, that means he is going to peak once again. But before he will be brave enough to peak, we can simply punish cover 1S and unfortunately only for one time, okay? We cannot uh, smack him twice, but that's okay. Look at this. I am looking where the light tank was last time and I am peak. 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 I know you are going to peak. I am pretty sure you are going to peak. And wait for it, fellas. Wait for it. Wait for it. As you can see, I am confused myself. Do I want to? Do I want to go to the right? Do I want to go to the left? And uh, uh, this is once again as much. Uh, uh, this is as intense as it is going to get for any tank destroyer. Pay attention where I am praying it. And oh, hello there. Unlucky. T50 made a humongous mistake. He was greedy. Uh, he picked once again and that was... Silly goose mistake. It happens. They still have one light tank, or do they? Uh, first hit, unfortunately, critical hit, but this guy is brave, uh, uh, and he's going for another shot. That's a silly goose mistake, but uh, shit happens. It is all right. We have two kills. We have 1.5 thousand damage, and... Um, we had quite a lot of fun. Meanwhile, Kavu 1S, hello there. It is weird how good this gun handling is behaving, honestly. It is truly pretty damn weird because it is a tier 6 and usually lower tiers are not so accurate. But as you can see, uh, gun is looking quite well. Obviously, there is one or another mm, missed shot, right? You cannot expect to hit 100% of the shots. This is just simply not how the things are looking like. Anyways, I want to secure the flank for obvious reasons and I see the T-34-85 is trying to make a bit of pressure like this so what am I doing I am taking a typical bush here um 
and I am hoping to find a very nice angle but as you can see this gentleman already went through so this is a bit more complicated so we need to get involved just a bit to find a nice angle to eliminate him and luckily he is dead beautiful 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 okay we have four kills um our team is losing the game quite a bit but if you would pay attention and into the max map we lost one two line you know what that means that means if enemies are silly goose uh, they are going Going to make pressure like this and uh, guess what will happen in this battle fellas uh, once again when I said this is as much uh, uh, action as you are going to get it as, as a tank destroyer I wasn't joking I wasn't messing with you uh, for the most of the time we needed to pay attention um, or humongous attention to the three uh, to the line number three to the line five six and to the hill right plus on top of that we were allocating quite a bit and now all we need to do we need to have a decent aim and we are going to be completely fine we are losing the game by some guns uh, and by a bit of the hit points but looking what kind of positions our team has and what kind of positions enemy team has I believe uh, it is understandable we are winning this game I'm trying to build a bit better angle so I am taking the upper ground and as you can see I don't really give a flying F about this T-150 because I know this T-150 has no view range to outspot us meanwhile I'm just ignoring that 150 I'm saying I mean what are you going to do buddy and at this point we are out of the standard ammunition um maybe the saddest part of this vehicle i would say is uh, this vehicle is not holding that many um rounds overall because once again if we would have more rounds we would not need to dig into the gold ammunition in the end of the battle but uh, i can tell you very very important thing it is better to have some uh, gold rounds uh, in the end of the game than to uh, face defender or whatever else and have zero gold rounds right it's just how it works and this is world of tanks for you anyways enemies have three guns left they have t3485 and they have two jeffs obviously i am dreaming about hitting this uh, um, t3485 but unfortunately uh he is getting killed by our t3485 um, shame <coughs> this could be easily um, a, a medal for a 10 kills, right? This could be very, very easy for us, but it is how it is. Anyways. We rigged brother in arms with a T-3485, so we are um, we are looking at the bright side of all this. We are still going to get our medal, right? So, eight kills dealt already, or we uh, have or we have the eight kills which is very very nice and only last clicker left in this battle obviously let's get real the clicker cannot win this game by himself it is literally impossible and if you would pay attention at this gentleman he was afk for all of the game and in fact he was yelling uh, uh, he was yelling about the score oh this is zero to two oh this is zero to three yeah that's quite sad and as you can see this gentleman do not have the best attitude if you know what I mean. Anyways, we were aiming to the side, but we hit Arta into the engine deck and hip hip hooray easy peasy lemon squeeze nine kills and brother in arms rigged. In fact, not only brother in arms, but uh, crucial contribution as well. And you think we are done? No, no, no. We have one more game and this is going to be a bit different one. You will see everything yourself in a second. And we are back. Third battle. Last but not least, fellas. This is obviously the hardest game looking into the map. Let's get real. Paris is not the best map for a tank destroyer. And uh, unfortunately, we are bottom tier here. So we are fighting against the higher tiers. Um, I use my field modifications to get myself uh, uh, to get myself uh, pretty much more gold rounds for this battle and I believe this is completely understandable why I have done that because we are fighting against the higher tiers obviously I can shoot high explosives but I don't really think it is going to be so beneficial uh, and this is the position which I want to show for every single of you if you are not familiar with this fellas you are knocking two trees like this and from this moment we can actually be the living crap out of the enemies you see how we are crafting the double bush yep and uh, if enemies are 
not experienced enough to go for a blind shots, they are going to have very, very, very bad situation against this fellas. I am trying to hit the cupola of the Kerververververon action shit. Unfortunately, I am failing once. Uh, can we go for a second hit? No, we cannot. Ooh, hello, T3485. How are you doing? Beautiful. Maybe Kerververon action shit. And once again, such an unfortunate timing. He is turning just in time whenever we want to hit this gentleman. And once again, this is the reason why you need to kind of go with a, um, with a gold ammunition in situation like this. Whenever you are bottom tier and your penetration is not that great, right? You do not have that much armor and everything. You just need to get um, somehow... The, you need to fix the gap between yourself and between the enemies and everything is looking like a pile of kaku if you would ask me we are losing by the two guns we are losing by 1.2 thousand hit points and carver over on action 10 i'm telling you fellas this gentleman is going to think about the chinese tank destroyers and he is going to look at them with a bit of respect meanwhile Talking about the game, fellas, we have 1.5 thousand damage already. We are two minutes into the battle, and I would say we did absolutely uh, everything perfectly to our abilities, right? Uh, you cannot expect, fellas, to be a ninja turtle and to uh, mess with everyone from the enemy team whenever you are bottom tier that's world of tanks for you and let's get real any of the tier 8 tank has a humongous advantage against the tier 6 but what you can do for being tier 6 uh, a tank obviously you can try to outplay enemies by uh, having better position and obviously uh, maybe even better knowledge than enemy team does so 1.7 thousand damage hip hip Hooray, everything is fine and once again at this point we are just simply waiting until enemies will mess up. Because let's get real, moving in front, uh, Lorraine will two shot us and he has auto loader so we cannot do absolutely anything there. So we simply need to hold the angle, ooh, 45 TP, uh, he made the decision to be a bit more aggressive and oh boy, so oh boys, this is not the best decision. Um, by the way, this battle is the best damage game with this vehicle, right? Uh, in the same time, obviously, it has something to do with the position and uh, uh, with the enemy team as well. They made multiple mistakes. But can you imagine, fellas, if we are carrying this as hard as we physically and possibly can, our shoulders hurts after uh, this carry, okay? Our shoulders hurts. Uh, and we are still losing game 3 to 10, unfortunately. Anyways, it doesn't really change anything. We are smacking the Kerververon uh, action 10 once again in the face. That's good. How, how are you doing, Lorraine? Lorraine is making a bit of pressure. We are still using double bush for obvious reasons. We are trying to use double bush once again. We are shooting him in the face. 269. Lorraine is confused. He's thinking, what the flying F is this? And yeah, 4 to 13, fellas. Uh, this looks familiar to you, fellas. Oh, yes. Indeed it does. And once again, uh, whenever I am having situations like this and I know I did as much as I physically and possibly could, I am not even feeling bad about this score. Right? Uh, I know for a fact, fellas, uh, whenever we are uh, dealing with this kind of situation, I know this is as much as we could physically and possibly get. Meanwhile, this Carver is thinking, I will smack you, and I'm saying not today. A lucky auto aim shot, and let the zombie apocalypse begin. Uh, Lorraine is speaking sideways. He is getting eliminated. He is thinking about his life uh, uh, choices from now on. And next time he is going to treat the Chinese tank destroyer with a bit of respect. Enemy light tank. Meow. Making as much pressure as he physically and possibly can. Garage. Unfortunate for this gentleman. Uh, Hellcat is meow. And he is being sent to the garage. We have four kills. And so far we have done um, probably more than our our team combined I think so and here you go 3.5 thousand damage obviously at this point I know it is completely GG and nothing what we can change about this and all I want to do I want to get extra shot uh, here and hopefully we can finish the game with a gun raised so here you go fellas four kills four thousand damage by being bottom tier in literally city map 
uh, pretty damn good if you would ask me. Anyways, let's teleport into the scoreboard, shall we? And we are back, fellas. Those are the three best games I had with this vehicle, or the most exciting uh, gameplay, I would say. The first battle was Mountain Pass, uh, which was pretty damn good. I think decision to go against the heavy tanks was pretty damn nice. We got ourselves Ace, we have ourselves Radley, Walter, Stop Gun, Kamikaze, High Caliber, everything went pretty well. We finished it with 1.8 base experience, 3.8 thousand damage, 800 assisting damage, and we made 39 thousand profits in 6 minutes. I would say this is a solid performance. After that, we had a bit different situation, Cliff, where we, we are sniping so much more than in the mountain pass map, but that worked just well. We finished everything with Ace, Radley, Walters, Pascuki, Top Gun, High Caliber, Crucial Contribution, Brother in Arms. 1.3 base experience because um, we, we are sniping so much more from the back and I believe that makes sense. Um, anyways, we are top by the damage and we are top by um, obviously experience and we made 38,000 profits and last but not least... Paris, where we went uh, with quite a bit of the gold spam there just because we were fighting against the uh, higher tiers and in the end of the day we got Ace Wanker with a defeat, this is very very good um, we got ourselves a Halonens medal and we got ourselves high caliber with 900 experience as defeat and we did so much more than anyone else in our team while being bottom tier and while pretty much farming enemies, right? Although that came up with a price of 52,000 minus. So yeah, not a big surprise. Anyways, fellas, uh, that was your daily dose of skill. I hope you had a great time and I hope you enjoyed yourself and see you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.